A Greenwood ice cream shop opened back up for the first time today after a former owner was arrested on child porn charges. Mrs. Girls was closed for business on Friday and Saturday. Wish TV Sierra Hignite joins us now with how the community is weighing in on the issue. Sierra. John Kaysen is the man you see here behind me, and he's not an owner anymore to Mrs. Curls, according to a statement released by the shop. It's been a staple in the Greenwood community for years, and the news surrounding Kaysen's allegations is causing people to have mixed reactions on the future of the business. Despite a cold and rainy day, people still lined up for ice cream. It's not so much ice cream around this time, so April 5th, um, nine years ago, me and my husband had our first date. And so that's what's important to us. I don't agree with the owner's choices and everything that's going on, but to us it's a special place. It's where we had our first date, so it's, it's not really fair for, I'm not going to allow him to take that away from us. Even though business was steady on Sunday, some posted on Wish TV's Facebook to say the allegations against Casson are causing them to satisfy their sweet tooth somewhere else. It's unfortunate, obviously very disgusting actions, um, but he's going to, it's the actions of an individual um, that are going to be dealt with. Um, you know, you can't really try to punish, you know, everybody. You know, when you boycott a business, everybody gets affected, not just the owner. In a Facebook post that has since been deleted, Mrs. Curl released a statement that said in part, we sincerely apologize and acknowledge everyone's concerns. Our priority is the welfare of our employees and customers. Our employees have expressed that they would like to continue working. Mrs. Curl has transitioned to new ownership as of January 2019 due to John's age and pending retirement. Effective immediately, Mr. Casson will be stepping aside from his role at Mrs. Curl. As for the future of the company, people on both sides of the argument have a similar hope. Mrs. Curl's obviously the, the uh, ownership would probably change considering, but um, you know, it's a, it's a staple in Greenwood and I think there's a lot that the business does good for the community you know, even despite the actions of, like I said, a single individual. We tried to confirm who the new owners are of Mrs. Curl, and we weren't able to confirm whether or not the shop is now solely owned by the two people who shared ownership with Kaysen originally. Sierra Hignite, Wish TV, News 8.